Welcome back, folks. It is a fantastic Friday evening. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's jump right into the forecast right now. As we take a look at those weather headlines, we are going to notice temperatures still close to those seasonal averages during the afternoon and those evening hours. So during those peak temperatures between just about 1 and 5 p.m., we're looking in those low to mid 90s. And during those evening hours, those low to mid 60 degree temperatures, there is going to be less cloud coverage on the way as we get into those weekend days. Lots and lots of sunshine is expected as a high pressure system moves on in associated with some dry air that's also going to be centered over basically that four corners region because as we take a look ahead we'll notice this high pressure ridge is starting to build over that border of California and Nevada and as we get into Sunday that circle of hot air is continuing to move on and it makes that reappearance and uh, hanging out over that four corners region that early work week it's even going to start moving across the plains and give us just a slight little bit of an increase in temperatures now in terms of those temperatures earlier today we were feeling 92 degrees in Grand Junction 88 in Montrose, 92 in Delta as well, and even 99 in Moab. Tomorrow, though, we are looking at a little bit of some warmer temperatures because as we take a look at still that same high pressure over that Texas area and that one moving on in from the West Coast, that Four Corners region, Durango, Alamosa, even Colorado Springs along that I-25 corridor is going to have that greatest chance for temperatures being well above normal at 10 to 20 degrees, and we're just on that edge of all that high pressure and that's why we're hanging out just around those seasonal averages. Speaking of tomorrow, we're going to hit triple digits in Moab at 100 degrees, 95 in Grand Junction, 90 in Montrose and along the I-70 corridor where there's a slight little bit more of cloud coverage feeling 91 in Parachute and even 86 in Glenwood Springs. As we take a look just about a week out, we'll notice there's a 33% chance above normal temperature in Grand Junction, 33 as well in Montrose. Those areas in the northern and those central mountains do have a slight chance to be a little bit cooler than that average, but that's just about a week out. And even as we take a look ahead in two days, for Sunday, that same high pressure still focused over there. And as that high pressure system I mentioned earlier moves on in from the West Coast, greatest chance for above normal temperature temperatures, even 10 to 20 degrees along that four corners region. And with that in mind, with those drier airs moving in, please be aware of this wildfire safety. I know I keep saying it, but just a reminder, never leave those campfires unattended. Adhere to those burn bans and those warnings. Discard of those cigarettes properly and keep vehicles and power tools off that dry vegetation and of course obey orders from local law officials. We'll notice we're right up next to those seasonal averages at 92 instead of that typical 93, that low end 63 instead of 64. And this is Sombra's last day hanging out with me. Please send me photos of your cute pups. I would love to show them for the dog walking forecast. We'll notice though clear skies are expected for tomorrow. And I want to chat about pollen. We'll notice grass season is coming to a close. Trees are done pollinating for the year and weed and mold pollen are still a little bit present as we take a look at that pollen forecast. We'll notice low trees, a little bit of some grasses, some moderate weeds and low mold in terms of those irritations hanging on out. Now that extended forecast is going to show us those mid 90s all the way through the weekend and into the early work week. Mind you, there's not much cloud coverage and it's still August folks. It's still summer. Those UV rays are up. Make sure to take that sunscreen with you. Montrose is just about five to eight degrees cooler hanging out in those upper 80s and even those low 90s and during those nighttime hours hanging out in those 50s for the long run. So definitely stay hydrated and take that sunscreen with you this weekend. We can look forward to some cooler temperatures and lots of sunshine.